They've shown kidney failure. The kidneys fail faster when people eat meat. So meat is not is, is something that some people are able to be okay in spite of, and others cannot, but there's no positive benefit to it. struggle with plants because of food sensitivities? Are there some people that need meat or other foods other than plants? Absolutely not. It's really important to understand that there is an optimal diet for humans. Uh, it's something that when I teach doctors, I, I really get into them about this, um, that, you know, when you look at, you know, scientists can tell you the optimal diet for giraffes, for rabbits, for lions, for elephants, for tigers, right? For worms. <laughs> they can tell you the optimal diet for every species except our own because it has gotten so diluted and perverted uh, and really um, also political and there's a lot of money and so many things that the truth has just been diluted and, and harder and harder to find. But there is one optimal diet for humans, and it is a plant-based diet. Um, and, and the reason I can say that with such confidence is because I have been doing this for with people for over a dozen years. Next month will be actually less than a month. It's only a couple weeks away. Uh, I will be lupus-free for 17 years. Uh, I have clients that are lupus, Sjogren's, uh, autoimmune-free for a decade or more. And while steps they made in the right direction helped them, it wasn't until they got fully plant-based with the hypernourishment that their disease went away. People say a paleo diet helped me. I go, hmm, they got better in spite of the meat. And then I talk to them. Oh, well, I mostly eat fruits and vegetables. I barely eat any meat. Oh, okay, that makes sense, right? Then I see other people take a paleo diet and they get worse and their kidneys fail. If a diet is optimal, everyone gets healthier. Not some people get healthier and some people are dying right? Very, very important to understand. So when you look at the impact on the blood vessels, on the heart, on the immune system, um, on being able to fight viruses, right? So when you look at the ability of your immune system to function normally, your organs to function normally, right? They've shown kidney failure. The kidneys fail faster when people eat meat. So meat is, not, is, is something that some people are able to be okay in spite of, and others cannot, but there's no positive benefit to it, okay? It's very, very important, and I know it's not information people want to hear. Listen, when I was a kid, my favorite meal was a bacon cheeseburger, all right? I get it. <laughs> it's not, it, it, those foods are very addictive, but it is better. So no, there's no human that should be better off on a meat-based diet. Now, if you've got food sensitivities, there's a good chance that those are because of the inflammation that's built up over those meat-based diets. So if you've seen my classes, I talk about, a guy named Freddie, who when I met him at the gym, uh, he was very, very allergic to fruits and vegetables, very allergic to fruits. Couldn't t If he had a bite of fruit, he needed an EpiPen. And he was eating hot dogs and milk every morning. And I told him, if you stop doing that, your allergies will get better. We saw him a month later, he could eat watermelon, no problem. So it was the animal products driving the food allergies and sensitivities. So what you need to do is get off the animal products and then for now, stick with the plant products that you're not sensitive or allergic to, because right now your immune system is wired up and you just have to ignore those things or ignore those foods that you are having sensitivities to. Use the healing foods that are that you're not sensitive to or allergic to and give yourself time to recover. When your immune system calms down, you should be able to incorporate all the other ones as well. And if you need help doing that, this might be something that you would need an appointment for. Very, very good question.